back guys. Last time we added all the necessary input fields and a submit button to our form. So now we're going to begin writing our PHP code. And if you remember in our index.php we created this connection variable that lets us access that database. But we're going to need that. So we're just going to copy that and paste it in here at the top of the page. We can get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. That was just to test our database's setup. So what we're going to do now is create some variables. So I put a comment in there, declaring variables to prevent errors. You'll understand why we're doing this in a minute. So dollar sign f name equals just a blank double quotes. This will be the variable for the first name. We can copy and paste that. This will be l name for last name. We'll make another one for email, just em. This will be email. These comments just let us know what each one's for in case we come back to the code and it's pretty confusing to us. So we're going to say em2, email2, and password. Copy that. Paste that down. Password2. We're going to make one for date, which will be the date the user signed up. And we're going to make one last one called error array. This is just going to hold any error messages we get. For example, the email has already been used or passwords don't match, anything like that. And can't spell apparently. Okay, so there are variables created. Now we can actually handle the form. So we're going to say if is set. And inside the brackets of is set, we're going to put dollar sign underscore post in all caps, square brackets, register button. Now put the curly brackets on the end of that. And this register button is that submit button we created. This is going to say that if had that button's been pressed, then start handling the form. So inside here, we'll put a little comment. So we know what we're doing, and we're going to say f name that variable we created up there equals strip tags, and inside those brackets we're going to put dollar sign underscore post in all caps, square brackets, and then this value right here, reg underscore f name. This is saying that store in this variable the value that was sent from the form. The dollar underscore post means take what was sent from the post form, and we said method equals post, and use that value. Strip tags is just a security measure, which means take away the HTML tags from there. Like for example, if someone tries to submit this, which is a HTML tag, this could ultimately add some unwanted code to your website. So we say strip tags, and it will remove anything the user puts in there. So they submitted that, it would get rid of these two and just leave the text. So strip tags are just for security purposes. And we'll say f name equals str underscore replace. I'm going to replace a space, so that's single quotes with a space inside, with nothing, so just a blank single quotes from the f name variable and the semicolon. This is basically saying take the fname variable which we have here and wherever you find a space replace it with this which happens to be nothing. So that if a user accidentally puts a space after their name and they register it will get rid of that for them. So I should have been commenting on this so I'll just add the comments now. Remove HTML tags remove spaces Okay, and now we'll say f name equals uc first, which is uppercase first, and we'll put str to lower, and then put the f name variable in there. What this is doing is it's going to first of all take our name variable and convert all of the letters to lowercase, and then it's going to capitalize just the first letter. So a user could enter wherever they want, 
and it's going to lowercase all that and then only keep the first letter as uppercase. So I'll add the comment in. And there we go. I'll add a comment here so we know this is for the first name. And then we can just copy and paste all that below. Change this to last name. Change these to L name. Change this to L name. Change this to L name. And finally change this to L name. We can then paste that again below, this time for email. So we can change this to EM, because that's what we called the variable up here. EM, EM, EM. This we called we called the email one reg underscore email. So we can put that inside here. Change this to EM and change this to EM. That'll get the email. We can then copy and paste that again for email two, the confirmation email. For EM2, 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 reg underscore email two, change that to EM2, and change that to EM2. Simple. And we can then paste that again below. This time it's for password. Password. And we call the variable just password. 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 Okay. Password. Password. And this was called reg underscore password. However, we do want to keep the strip tags, but we don't want to remove any characters such as spaces because a space might be part of their password. We also don't want to convert any of the characters to upper or lower case because that again might be part of their password. So we actually only need this one line. So we can copy and paste this one line again below for password 2. Red password 2. And there we go. Now when a user submits the form, the values they entered in each box will be stored inside a variable. And there's one more variable we didn't set, it's called date. So we're going to set that now. Dollar sign date equals date, and then this takes the format of the date you want. So double quotes, y, uppercase y that is, m, d. So uppercase y, lowercase m, lowercase d, with the hyphens in between, and semicolon. This gets the current date. 